Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our second lesson in a series of 15 videos that we will make dealing with the notion of work time problems. And today is our lesson number 112. There is going to be a total of 15 videos, as I said. Today is the second one. Yesterday we did the very first one. Here is the problem. It is already on the blackboard. We are told that we have three machines. We are told that we have three machines. We are told that machine, machine A, B and C can do the job, can do a job in three, four and five hours respectively working alone. Machine A can finish the job in three hours, B takes four hours to do the job and C takes five hours to do the exact same job. The question is what is the most what is the most amount of work what is the most amount of work that can be done by two of these machines in one hour what is the most amount of work that you can get out by two of these machines if they were to operate for one hour what I want you to do right now is to pause the video solve the problem yourself once you have done it then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Always make sure that you make a habit of doing that, even if I forget to remind you. Do you understand? I'll give you five seconds to be able so so the to, 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 to for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Okay? But there we go. Since we are told that what is the most amount of work, we want the most amount of work, not the least amount of work. We want the most amount of work in one hour. Let's not worry about the one hour part right now. Since we want the most amount of work, we want the two faster machines, two of the faster machines. A takes three hours and B takes four hours. These two are the faster machines. This guy is the slowest one. We don't want this guy. This guy is the slowest one. We don't want him. So we're dealing with A and B. We're dealing with machine A and B. Let's see what we can do here. A and B are the faster ones. A takes three hours. A takes 3 hours and B takes 4 hours. What we need to do next now is to ask ourselves what is the least common multiplier that we can find that works for 3 and 4. The least common multiplier, I believe that's what it's called, is 12. In 12 hours, in 12 hours, in 12 hours, A will do how many jobs? Well, A only takes 3 hours. A only takes 3 hours to do the job in 12 hours A can do 4 jobs, 4 of these assignments. Similarly, similarly in 12 hours, in 12 hours B can do, B can do, since he takes 4 hours, since B takes 4 hours to do the job, in 12 hours he can do 3 of these assignments. That implies, that implies that in 12 hours, in 12 hours, they, they being A and B, can do, can do seven jobs. They can do seven jobs in 12 hours. Unfortunately for us, we don't have 12 hours, we only have one hour. Well, if in, in 12 hours they can do seven jobs, that in turn implies, that in turn implies, that in turn implies that in one hour, in one hour, they should be able to do seven twelfth of the job. Voila, seven twelfth of the job. That's it. We are done. That is it. Do you understand? That was the end of it. Now, before we did all of this work, what I left out inadvertently is to ask ourselves, is there any, uh, 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 are there any answer choices here that are nonsensical? I forgot to do that in the beginning, so I'm going to do it now. I left it out quite inadvertently. Typically, I look for the answer choices that are nonsensical. You knock them out because uh, that's how you raise your eyes. Even if you don't know how to solve it or even if you don't have the time to actually finish the problem in the proper way, knowing which answer choices simply are illogical, Raises you, raises you odds of picking the right answer among the remaining two or three. For example, here we are told that when this guy takes three hours, four hours, and five hours, well, in, if he takes if he takes three hours, he can do a third of a job. A third of a job, and this guy is going to do since he takes four hours, in one hour he is going to do a fourth of a job. A third and a fourth, a third and a fourth is less than two thirds. Are you sure? Are you with me? 
a third and a fourth is less than two thirds. This is too. This is too big. This is too big. This three quarter is too big. We have we, we, correct answer. Whatever it is, correct answer. Whatever it is, has to be less than two thirds. The correct answer, whatever it is, has to be less than two thirds. This is too big. Four fifth is too big. This is more than one. How can do more? How can they do? How can they possibly do more than one job in one hour? And this is too small. This is this is not. This is little over. This is not even half actually. I was going to say little over half, but that's not even half. It's too small. Half is too small. So as a matter of fact, I just realized that we knocked out everything basically, didn't we? We knocked out everything. So we didn't really actually have to do the work. Now that I realize it, I'm, I'm a bit ashamed here. We really didn't have to do anything at all. Just simple logical thinking tells us that three of them are too large and one of them is too small. That's all. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Here's the new problem. Machine A, B, and C can do the job in three, four, and five hours, respectively, working, working at their respective constant pace. That's how it will say in the exam working at their respective constant pace. I'm leaving all of that out. What is the... So here's a new problem. Here's a new problem. This, this beginning part stays the same. The beginning part stays the same. They take three, four, and five hours to do the job by themselves. The question is, how long... How long will they take... Will they take... working together to do working together to do the job. How long will they take working together at their respective paces to do the job? And I should also give you the answer choices for this new problem. A, B, C, D, and E. One and one third, one and a half, one and two third, two, and four and a third. I want you to do this problem yourself. I want you to do the problem yourself and watch the next video for the solution. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.